Next this evening, could this be the answer to London's housing crisis? Next month, work begins on the world's tallest so-called modular housing structure in Croydon. But what is it? Well, it's a 21st century take on the 1960s prefab initiative. The ready-made homes are built just north of London and then will be transported across the capital and stacked together. They're more eco-friendly than traditional houses, but crucially, will they be more affordable? Martin Stew went to find out. Prefabricated homes transported in two halves are setting new records in housing. They can be erected in less than an hour. A temporary 60s solution, Prefab was cheap, but not so cheerful to live in. 50 years on, could its successor, modular construction, solve London's housing shortage? This is a one-bed apartment which consists of two modules ready to be shipped to London. As you can see, it's 95% finished leaving the factory. Just like Prefabs, all appliances are ready fitted, but that's where the similarities end. Inside Vision's factory, 180 workers are making the permanent modular pods. Not plywood, but steel and concrete. Next month, they'll start work on the world's tallest modular towers. 44 and 38 floors to be built in Bedford, but then erected in Croydon. From start to finish, a module can be made in 10 days. They're then delivered to site and craned into position. Developers say this tower in Wembley was built twice as fast as a traditional building. There's a real shortage of skills currently on construction sites in London, where if, if modular can be produced in the regions and delivered to London, it will certainly play a big part. And also it's, it's much more environmentally friendly. That sounds counterintuitive when you have to drive buildings 60 miles on the back of a lorry. But factory building creates 80% less waste. 50% less CO2 and remove site traffic from the roads. So what's the catch? Well, you need a large outlay of money up front to build factories and a steady pipeline of work to keep paying your employees. Two things construction firms find difficult in these turbulent times. And as modular building isn't cheaper, critics say it won't solve London's affordable housing crisis. For the 45,000 families on London's waiting list, Instant homes could speed up the solution to an immense problem. They may not have all the answers, but whilst prefabs were once only seen as a temporary fix, we can expect modular homes to play a permanent part of London's housing future. Martin Stew, ITV News.